So guys, another week, another scandal for the Obama administration. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> yes, the president sure is his hands full having to answer for a recently disclosed document that reveals the extent of the NSA's warrantless surveillance program. It exposed that the government has direct access to the servers of firms such as Google, Facebook and Apple, and uses this access to keep these servers under constant surveillance. Now, Obama's defense, the barrage of accusations that this is a disturbing sign of a full-blown surveillance state, has been this. When you look at the details, I think we've struck the right balance. Oh, good. Oh, good. We can rest assured that the Obama administration hasn't taken the watchful eye of Big Brother all too far. So let's be fair. Let's take a look at those details he's talking about. Oh, wait. We can't. Because it's all classified. <laughs> You know, it's especially ironic about all this. It's that the same man who, believe, believe it or not, once condemned Bush for going against the old adage that those who would sacrifice freedom for security deserve neither. I know, I know, given our current state of affairs, it's hard to believe. But let me jog your memory. I will provide our intelligence and law enforcement agencies with the tools they need to track and take out the terrorists without undermining our Constitution and our freedom. That means no more illegal wiretapping of American citizens. No more national security letters to spy on citizens who are not suspected of a crime. No more tracking citizens who do nothing more than protest a misguided war. No more ignoring the law when it is inconvenient. Whoa, whoa, who's that guy? I like that guy. Oh right, the best actor alive. Nothing more than a shill in an empty suit. But look, I'm actually relieved that as a result of this latest revelation that finally the corporate media is showing some outrage about the same surveillance state I've been rallying against for the last 10 years. Yet in the midst of the media frenzy, perhaps no one summarized it better than the New York Times editorial board, which published, the administration has now lost all credibility on this issue. Mr. Obama is now proving the truism that the executive branch will use any power it's given and very likely abuse it. Word. New York Times, welcome to the This Administration Has No Credibility Club. I'm glad you're finally coming around and seeing Obama's contempt for the law when it comes to spying. However, where are you when it comes to his policies on drones, Gitmo, or indefinite detention? What will it take for you guys to come around to that? But back to the other scandal. The news hit the corporate media world like a drone strike after journalist and constitutional lawyer Glenn Greenwald broke the, sh the story of the NSA collecting all of Verizon customers' phone records. Just a day later, he broke the news about the NSA's widespread secret surveillance program that works with corporations codenamed PRISM. And the question now is whether or not this recent disclosure could turn Greenwald himself into the NSA's next target given the agency's aggressive pursuit of whistleblowers. However, I can't help but think still of the even bigger picture. Illegal wiretapping and spying has been the M.O. of the post-9-11 security state. Guys, this has already been going on for the last 12 years. Do you remember what the Patriot Act did? Or FISA? Or what about when Obama already voted to give telecom companies immunity for warrantless spying? I mean, crying out loud. NSA whistleblower Thomas Drake already exposed Operation Stellar Wind's illegal wiretapping program of U.S. citizens in 2010. So why is it that people only seem to let reality sink in when it comes from Wolf Blitzer? It's time to wake up, guys. Because while the government claims they're only tracking suspected terrorists, they're tracking everyone. So welcome to the surveillance state where every single one of us is now public enemy number one. The only thing that restricts the activities of the surveillance state are policy. Uh, even our agreements with, with other sovereign governments, we consider that to be uh, a stipulation of policy rather than a stipulation of law. And because of that, a new leader will be elected. They'll flip the switch, uh, say that... Um, because of the crisis, because of the dangers that we face in the world, you know, some, some new and unpredicted threat, we need more authority, we need more power, and there will be nothing the people can do at that point to oppose it, uh, and it'll be turnkey tyranny.